Hello. All right. Let's say you want to make in Godot, you want to make a bullet, uh, which is going to be just an oblong gated sphere. Um, but you don't really want to make a sphere, actually. Um, you just want the bullet to be one um, face. And um, you can do that. Uh, let's add a mesh. Um, and let's uh, let's make this into a uh, quad mesh so like, like that and um, <clears throat> let's just make a simple material for it here I, I think I have uh, something for it here that could be used so this could be a bullet and um, it's gonna let's let's give it the it's gonna be let's give it some uh, uh, what did I just do? Ambient occlusion. I don't want to give it ambient. I want to give it some emission because it's going to be lighting up a little bit. Um, and it's going to be kind of a yellowish, reddish kind of thing like that. And um, yeah, so this is my bullet, but I want it to be kind of oblongated. So when it flies, it looks like it's uh, it's uh, has speed and it's not supposed to be this big. So I'm just gonna make this uh, uh, one meter long and 0 0.05 meter wide, and um, yeah, so this this works well. Um, this could be a bullet. Uh, let's give it a little bit more. Uh, yeah, like that. Pew pew. Uh, <clears throat> but. Um, if I look at it from the back, of course, or from the top, uh, you can't really see much. And so you might think, oh, you, you could use um, a billboard for this. Well, yes, uh, you can. But the problem with the billboard is that it always looks uh, at the camera. And uh, if it was uh, just homogeneously round, you wouldn't see the difference. But now that it isn't uh, homogeneously uh, uh, round, it's it doesn't really work and um, but there's another kind of billboard mode which is called wire billboard and um, wire billboard has the effect that uh, the uh, shape will always point in one direction um, but that's uh, in the global direction so let me just um, show you what I mean if I do 0 0.5 here and one here so now you can see this is no matter what direction I look at it, this from now, um, I actually I don't want this thing to be like that. All right. So no matter what direction I look at it, uh, it always um, it always looks like this, and this is actually really cool. But um, but the problem is it's always pointing upwards, and uh, so how to make a bullet that always points forwards in the direction of the object? So it's a little bit like a Y billboard, except it's a Y billboard in lo in, clo in local space. And um, you can actually do that. Uh, and uh, the way you can do that is you uh, make a shader. Um, bup, bup, bup. So we take our material. Um, this is actually, I think this is uh, approximately how I want my, my bullet thingy to look. And um, I'm just going to take the material and I'm going to make it into a shader material like that. And um, now we have a shader material. And um, so what you can see here is um, this is the manu manipulation of the model matrix that makes it look uh, up always. Uh, in the global y direction, um, but let's say we want to make this to look in the local y direction. Well, in order to do that, we have to use uh, some math. Um, first of all, what we gotta figure out uh, is what is the direction from the camera to the bullet, and um, let's just make a, a vector for that um, cam. Um, bullet deer and that is going to be the um, 
position of the node in world coordinates minus the camera position in world coordinates like that so that is the direction uh, towards our bullet um, then what we've got to do is um, we have to get we got to use some math um, to uh, calculate um, uh, so yes so the local y direction is going to be a vector 3 local y and we can take that from the model matrix uh, model matrix and um, um, that is going to be 1 x uh, 0 is x y is 1 z is 2 and there are actually 4 uh, components uh, four times four components in this so we only want the x y and z coordinate for this then uh, we need to calculate um, the x direction of the bullet um, and let's call this uh, let's make this a vector 4 because we're going to use this in our uh, model uh, we're going to use another extra coordinate so um, let's call this the, um, uh, model matrix y x and uh, the model matrix x component is going to be a uh, vector 4 and it's going to be a normalized cross product of the local y coordinate and um, uh, the cam bullet direction and um, and then the last component is just going to be zero like that and that should work right net normalized that doesn't work normalized uh, normalized like that yes and then um, the Y uh, component uh, in the um, uh, this is going to be also a vector 4 M M Y. that's also going to be a vector 4 and um, we can take our local Y and uh, put 0 in here that should work I think yes and then the set component, we're going to calculate that from the X component. And so we're going to say like 4 mm set. And we're going to do vector 4. We're going to normalize. Then we're going to take the cross product of A mm. Uh, uh, x, x, y, z, and m, m, y, x, y, z, and uh, do, 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 do we have? I think I think we have one parenthesis to me here, and then zero here, and I think yes and <clears throat> then we are just going to get rid of this this is the global model matrix um, so right now we just switch back to the model view matrix uh, we had uh, this is the original model view matrix and so now we can actually point the bullet in a direction so we haven't really changed anything all this is just not being used any uh, yet so but what we can do now is we can say the model view matrix we're going to set uh, that equal to the view uh, matrix times a matrix 4 with our mmx mmy mm set and the model matrix um, third this is the scale and 
this should yes so i think it's actually pointing backwards let's try and yes so what you'll notice now is it's always pointing uh, at us but turned so that it looks like the bullet is always um, it looks like the bullet is actually solid because of this effect of course if you look directly at it that then it doesn't work because it is basically just a face that's pointing in a direction towards the camera but but um how many times do you look uh, absolutely directly at a bullet and would you even be able to see it anyway um so and this is uh this is cool because now it actually appears like the bullets a bullet has like a mass to it or a width to it um if we make it a little thicker you'll see it looks like it's a, it's a little bow bowl bow bowl thing or whatever you could see i don't know what to say it's but it is basically just one face um and uh this can be used for lots of uh, different things um uh, if you wanted to you could actually add um like a, a center core in here uh with with the or maybe what you could do is you could actually maybe uh make the angle so the Y always points a little bit towards the camera, but um, anyway, yeah. So this, but this can be used for a lot of stuff. It can also be used for, um, it can be used for particle systems. Uh, let's say you have uh, sparks in a particle system. This is really useful for that. Um, if you didn't do it with uh, like this, you would probably need to make an actual volumetric. Um, uh, or you could you could just make it uh, as a particle billboard um, um, but then you couldn't elongate it uh, so that uh, it stretches basing based on the velocity um, which is actually the, the reason why I want to you want to do this for a bullet uh, elongate it in this way um, is because uh, you want your bullet when it's moving you want to stretch it out so that it looks like you have um, uh, the shutter speed of the camera uh, smears the bullet out um, and uh, that gives you an impression of speed and, and better kind of um, yeah it gives a little it gives a little bit better impression of speed uh, when, you, when you do that um, but um, yeah so this is how you'd make a localized Y direction billboard and you can if you change uh, this um, to uh, you can change this to another axis so you can make an X X axis local billboard or Z axis local billboard if you wanted to do that um, but the uh, Y axis uh, local billboard is just the, the way that uh, I thought um, it could be useful for you to see and uh, yeah so that is just a simple trick uh, I actually don't know why they haven't added this into Godot um, by default in this default shader um, because this um, this is very this can be very useful so anyway uh, thanks for this time